Good afternoon. So today I'm wearing a special kind of hat. Do you know what it's called? It's a pith helmet. A pith helmet is the kind of hat that archaeologists used to wear or paleontologists. Paleontologists are people who, oh, I'm just going to adjust that. Paleontologists are people who study dinosaurs and fossils. And our story today features a dinosaur. It is an alliterative story, which means that all the um, a lot of the words start with the same consonant or same sound. It's by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrations by Henry Cole, published by Hyperion Books in 1995. And it is called Dinarella, one of my favorites. Dinarella, a prehistoric fairy tale. So listen for all those sounds that are the same. It's very obvious very quickly. Okay. Dora, Doris and Dinarella lived down in the sand dunes in a dinosaur den. Dora and Doris did nothing all day. They dumped debris around the den. They never did the dusting or the dishes. Dinarella was dainty and dependable. Dora and Doris were dreadful to Dinarella. All day they demanded, Dinarella, dig the garden. Dinarella, fetch us drinks. Dinarella, start the dinner. She's a dingbat, sniggered Dora. She's a dumbhead, giggled Doris. One day, a card was delivered to the den. Dinosaur dance, Duke Dudley's den at dusk, hors d'oeuvres, dandelion cola, dancing until dawn. Duke Dudley was the most dashing dinosaur in the dunes. I would die for a date with the Duke, said Dora, decorating herself with dinosaur jewels. Definitely, sighed Doris, dolling up for the dance. A dance, said Dinarella diffidently. How divine. You can't go to the dance, said Doris. You're too dowdy. You're too dull, agreed Dora, and you don't have decent dinosaur jewels. Of course you can't go to the dance. Poor Dinarella felt down in the dumps as she watched her stepsisters depart. Suddenly, Dinarella heard a droning noise. Don't be dismal, cried Fairy Dactyl. You shall go to the dance. But I'm so drab, said Dinarella and I don't have decent dinosaur jewels. I'll soon deal with that, declared Fairy Dactyl. These will outdazzle all other dinosaur jewels. Darling Fairy Dactyl, exclaimed Dinarella in delight. With her diamonds dangling, she set out for the dance. Dusk had fallen when Dinarella heard a deafening disturbance coming from the direction of Duke Dudley's den. A dastardly deed was taking place. A Dinonychus was dragging off the Duke. I'm done for, cried the Duke. He will devour me. Indeed I will, laughed the Dinonychus. I'll be digesting you by daybreak. Dinarella was not a daring dinosaur, but something drastic had to be done. I may become dessert, but I'm determined to drive away that dreaded carnivore. Dinarella climbed to the top of the dune. You disgusting dummy, she roared. Drop the duke. 
Dinarella began to hurl dirt balls at the Dinanicus. The dumbfounded Dinanicus stopped in disbelief. Who called me a dummy? he demanded. The moon's light caught Dinarella's dangling diamonds. Dots and dabs of light darted towards the Dinanicus. A devil! cried the Dinanicus. See its dreadful demon eyes! Dinarella detached a diamond and directed it toward the Dinanicus. The diamond hit the Dinanicus hard in his dentures. The devil would destroy me with its deadly eyes, bellowed the distraught Dinanicus. He dumped Duke Dudley and departed double quick. The den was dense with dinosaurs dashing about in distress. A demon, they cried. We're doomed. Dimwits, roared Duke Dudley through the din. Demons don't throw diamonds. It was a damsel who defended me with her dazzling dinosaur jewel. When I discover her, I shall ask her to be my darling. All the dinosaur dames were delirious. The jewel is mine, they each declared. Mine, cried Doris. No, definitely mine, bellowed Dora, giving Doris a dig. I am the damsel you desire. I doubt it, declared Duke Dudley. Your dinosaur jewels don't match. Just then, Fairy Dactyl arrived at the dance. She quickly saw the dilemma. Where is Dinarella? she demanded. Dinarella, scoffed Dora, that dopey domestic. Dinarella, laughed Doris, she's back at the den. But Fairy Dactyl spied Dinarella dodging behind the dune. Dinarella, she directed, come down. So down came Dinarella, looking distracted. Cried the Duke, she wears but one dazzling jewel. Dinarella, you are adorable. You're definitely quite a dish. I beg you to be my dearest. Dreamy, said Dinarella as they danced off into the dawn. Drat, said Dora and Doris. The end. So when you think about the story, think about how many things are the same and how many things are different. In the original story of Cinderella, she loses, she doesn't lose an earring. And all of those wonderful, wonderful words beginning with D, Pamela Duncan Edwards is a master of these alliterative stories. And this one happens to be my favorite, but I also really, really love Clara Caterpillar and the Worry Warts and Some Smug Slug and she also wrote Bravo Livingston Mouse and she works a lot with Henry Cole so they have a good collaboration together and I hope you might look up some of her other books, um, her alliterative, alliterative books and try and think of some words beginning with D that maybe she didn't mention. I don't know that there are very many and she used them all so fabulously well. So thank you, Pamela Duncan Edwards and Henry Cole and Hyperion Books for Children for bringing that story to us today. And then that's it. I'm going to take my pith helmet off after we finish the story and put it back in my closet.
for another time. Bye-bye. Click. -bye.